what's up fox pack silent fox here back with another video are you guys ready to chill and vibe out and make some art because i am but before we start i just want to let you guys know i'm really like loving my videos and even though it takes a lot of time it brings me joy and i want more people to see it so please before you like this video or watch this video please like and share i know you're gonna enjoy it because i enjoy it and i think i have good taste so you know let's just chill vibes only and if you're gonna create art or just watch the video no let's just hang out maybe even have a conversation in the comments below but don't forget i'm sharing some love or sending love to you and i hope you love me too i did have the day off today which i was very excited for to relax and just actually edit some videos but i'm not gonna lie i procrastinated a lot and so i'm recording this late but i have this song stuck in my head and it's the uh, it's very viral on tiktok right now it's the uh, you died in the back of my mind it's stuck in my head right now and guys it's actually really a good vibe and i love that song so if you have any recommendations for music in that genre comment them down below because that's what i'm listening to as i'm editing this video Today we are working on our acrylic series. Each canvas I do is going to be 30 by 40 just because I like consistency. It was thanks to the Minnesota State Board Art, I got a grant to share my art and process with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. and don't forget to ask questions if you have any desire or wants to do acrylic painting. I got a couple tricks and I've been doing it for a couple years now and I'm actually confident in my work. It just took 100 years to get here. So so I'm here to support and encourage you to create and make art. I can't believe it's been a whole month since I started this painting and I just stopped. I did, of course, my base, which is a solid color. I love doing a background color, but the idea that the month just passed me by and I couldn't remember how or what I was doing during the time was very concerning for me but i'm gonna push through and just keep making art even though sometimes you just have those modes where you can't create eventually it does come back to you and it feels like no time has passed <laughs> One of my goals is to add more colors or dimensions to my colors. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I don't wanna use just black and white to like add highlights and shadows. I'm thinking of darker colors, like maybe opposites or complementary colors. And so hopefully eventually I evolve into that stage. Right now, I feel like my colors, I tend to try to blend them or add textures to them, which works. But as you see in this, shirt that i just finished is very orange very beautiful but i want to add a little oomph to it so if you guys have any advice for me i'm gonna keep working on that and hopefully get better soon <laughs> also recommend taking a step back at your work and just looking at it to stare and really analyze 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 i don't know why that sounds so weird to me but anyway just analyze your work and i really just lost my train of thought this is why it's really hard for me to talk it's not really my thing guys so just be patient with me but just look at your work and decide like what colors are working and what's not and what colors you actually want to use in the future or as you continue to paint the piece <laughs> So the 
piece I'm working on is called Loitu Training. It's basically discussing or making an observational statement on how parents treat their kids and how they expect blind loyalty, regardless of how they treat them, which creates almost like a pyramid for your kids and how you favoritize them. And it sucks because parents don't see this. Parents treat each kid differently because of it, in a sense. And I feel like they don't want to admit it. Like, I understand each kid needs different method, but where this fails is some kids you are almost harsher to while others are like on cloud nine in a sense and those harsh kids feel like there's favoritism going on because of it and that means you're not really providing or solving a solution and it's actually making it worse if that makes sense that's where I'm trying to go with this and I know I'm talking about my experience but if you guys can relate I'm here for you guys I definitely feel it because it's happened before for me and it really sucks because even though they treat you like this, you really love them and you miss them in a sense. And it's crazy. It's back crazy to me to think that I'm missing this person that treats me like garbage, you guys. I get it now. I understand there's a lot of people, regardless of it's like a parent relationship, a friend relationship, or even like a partner relationship where they can treat you like garbage and you still love them. So you, because you love them, you take it. I know a lot of people do this. It's not cute. We need to be team self-love and treat me better or else I'm going to cut your head off or some something of that sort. So yeah, that's what this piece is about. Guys, I need your help. I have really bad anxiety and just like social anxiety. And so having conversations, regardless of if it's just with myself or with others, is very stressful. And I don't know how to cope with that because I don't want to look back on my life and feel like I'm like Joe, the guy from Seoul. I don't want to feel like I didn't have the life I was meant to have because I'm stressed about, I, I don't even know what I'm stressed. I find reasons to be stressed in each situation and I'm not, I'm trying to fix this and it's been years and still like I went to a wedding reception and I love the people that got married and my friends were there and yet I just froze like my body just knows like it protects me in that way and I'm going to fix it even if it takes 20 hundred years but that means I'm gonna need to be reincarnated so I can experience life again because I feel like time is going by too fast for me right now let me let me know how you guys feel about the situation if you have anxiety or depression or anything high key there's a lot wrong with my noggin but I am practicing self-love and I'm always trying to better myself and I find one thing that's weird for me though is like either if I'm anxious I go super quiet or I overly talk and I need to find the middle ground so I'm gonna finish this painting I'm really excited I took me forever to figure out the color palette I hate that about my paintings because it could be done so fast if I wasn't overthinking the color palette but it's gonna be great guys just watch this reveal thanks for talking to me today and if you have any suggestions comments don't forget to throw them in the chat below looking for new youtubers to watch if you're starting a channel too on um, whether it's art related or anything else comment down below that because right now i'm currently watching black bean which i've seen all his and i rewatch a lot of his and i also watch db nala bro that's another channel you guys have to go hype out because i'm obsessed with her like i rewatched her channel from her last video two weeks ago to when she first started a couple years ago but she talks about art and mental health and it's really inspiring so go check her out but i need some more youtube channels to like binge watch and if you're starting out I also would love to watch your channel too.
Alright Fox Pack, that's the end of the video. And if you vibed out with me, like always, thanks for vibing. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have time. I would really appreciate that. I'm really trying to grow my channel. And I just really and I really need the support for that. Shop silentfox.studio for my art. I'm gonna make a Patreon soon as well. I'll just keep you updated with that. With that being said, have a great day. I'm out. You're out. Peace out. Bye.